Across Asia, the Middle East, and Latin America, one aircraft is capturing attention, China's J-10C fighter jet. Once seen as a regional project, it's now shaping into a serious global export contender. Nations are lining up, and experts are asking why. What makes this jet so appealing, and what does it say about the future of aviation technology and international cooperation? Let's explore the growing fascination behind the J-10C. Interest in China's J-10C fighter has expanded rapidly over the past two years. Reports from Defense Mirror indicate that several friendly nations are currently in discussion with Beijing to acquire this multi-role aircraft. Among them are countries from Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Latin America, reflecting how China's aerospace industry is extending far beyond its own borders. In Asia, Indonesia's feasibility assessment of the J-10C made headlines after President Macron's visit to Jakarta in 2025, where France promoted its Rafale fighters. Analysts pointed out that Indonesia's air fleet modernization efforts are being influenced not only by cost, but also by delivery schedules and long-term maintenance considerations. Reuters confirmed that Jakarta is studying the J-10C as part of a broader evaluation to balance affordability, technology, and strategic independence. In the Middle East, countries such as Iran and Egypt have shown notable interest. Iranian media, including Militarni, reported that Tehran is considering switching from the Russian Su-35 to the Chinese J-10C because of faster production, simpler maintenance, and open technology support. Egypt, already operating a diverse aircraft fleet, has reportedly examined the J-10C as a complement to its existing assets, focusing on cost efficiency and system integration. Meanwhile, Latin American nations such as Argentina and Venezuela are also part of the conversation. For Argentina, which has long sought to replace its aging aircraft but faced restrictions from Western suppliers, the J-10C represents an appealing option due to fewer export limitations. Beyond regional cases, the underlying attraction lies in timing and access. Western fighter jets often face multi-year production backlogs. The Rafale and F-16V are prime examples, while China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation maintains high output capacity. Countries seeking to strengthen air capabilities quickly see this as a significant edge. The J-10C is therefore not only a military asset, but also a symbol of accessibility and reliability, aligning with nations aiming to modernize efficiently while maintaining autonomy in procurement decisions. The J-10CS global attention stems from its technological evolution and cost performance balance. As a 4.5 generation multi-role aircraft, it integrates advanced features comparable to Western designs, but at a considerably lower acquisition and maintenance cost. Technically, the J-10C is powered by the WS-10 b tying turbofan engine, an indigenous power plant that delivers strong thrust and reliable performance. The aircraft incorporates an active electronically scanned array, ASA, radar, which enhances target detection range and resistance to electronic interference. This radar, combined with a sophisticated electronic warfare suite, enables pilots to identify and track multiple aerial or ground targets simultaneously. The jet's weapons suite further adds to its appeal. It carries the PL-15 long-range air-to-air missile, capable of engaging targets at extended ranges, and the PL-10 short-range missile designed for close-in agility. Together, these systems provide a balance of reach and precision comparable to other modern 4.5-generation aircraft such as the Rafale F-3R or the F-16V. The J-10CS avionics architecture is highly digitalized, featuring glass cockpit displays, a fly-by-wire control system, and an integrated data link that allows communication with airborne early warning systems and ground command networks. These features give the aircraft situational awareness similar to that of higher-end platforms while maintaining operational simplicity. For potential buyers, affordability and delivery timelines are critical. The unit cost of the export version, the J-10CE, is estimated to be roughly half the price of a Rafale or Eurofighter Typhoon. China's large-scale production line allows quicker delivery cycles, evidenced when Pakistan Air Force received its first batch of J-10CEs only three months after signing its deal in 2021. 
Such speed is nearly unmatched in today's global market. Maintenance and training are streamlined through China's existing ecosystem of simulators and technical support programs. Buyers receive not only aircraft, but also logistical and training packages tailored to their infrastructure. Overall, the J-10C combines performance, efficiency, and reliability in a way that appeals to nations looking for advanced capability without excessive cost or long waiting periods. The growing international attention toward the J-10C reveals more than market trends. It reflects a strategic shift in global aviation partnerships. Each potential sale represents not only an aircraft transfer, but also long-term cooperation in maintenance, training, and technology exchange. For China, expanding J-10C exports aligns with its broader ambition to become a major global defense technology provider. Successful deliveries reinforce the country's reputation for reliability and industrial maturity. Every contract helps build trust, showing that Beijing can deliver complex systems on time and sustain them through after-sales support. For buying nations, choosing the J-10C often symbolizes an effort to diversify suppliers. Depending solely on Western or Russian platforms can expose smaller states to delays or political limitations. By engaging with China, these countries aim to balance their options while maintaining operational flexibility. This strategy reflects a modern approach to procurement, one based on performance, independence, and economic efficiency rather than alliance pressure. The aircraft's expanding footprint may also reshape regional balances of capability. If multiple nations in the same area adopt the J-10C, they could gain similar levels of situational awareness, interoperability, and cost-effective readiness that could encourage competitive innovation from other manufacturers and motivate suppliers worldwide to streamline production and lower costs. Economically, the J-10C program strengthens China's aviation sector by boosting exports, attracting joint production proposals, and fostering talent development in avionics, propulsion, and composite materials. Each export success feeds back into research and industrial capacity ensuring continued upgrades for future models, such as the stealth-capable J-35. On a broader level, the rise of the J-10C underscores a transition in the global aerospace landscape. One where emerging producers are no longer secondary suppliers, but key players offering credible alternatives. It highlights how globalization, technology sharing, and competitive manufacturing are transforming the fighter aircraft market into a truly multipolar domain. Ultimately, the J-10CS story is less about rivalry and more about evolution, a reflection of how accessible technology, steady innovation, and strategic cooperation are redefining what nations look for in their next-generation aircraft. The growing global fascination with China's J-10C shows just how fast the world of aviation is changing. Nations everywhere are rethinking what makes an aircraft valuable, not just speed or power, but reliability, access, and long-term support. The J-10C represents a new balance between technology and practicality, where innovation meets availability. It's more than a jet, it's a sign of how global manufacturing, design, and cooperation are evolving in this century. Whether every deal is finalized or not, one fact is clear. This aircraft has already earned its place as a symbol of the new aerospace era, efficient, advanced, and widely accessible. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinus.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.